Welcome back to the Collective Movements. First off, I would just like to say thank you once again. We have finally reached our 2020 goal of 250 subs. It has been quite the year, and I must say I'm pretty ecstatic to start 2021. Hopefully this year will be better than last, and we keep growing. So with that in mind, today we are going to be focusing on cat grab to something else. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean like you can go cat grab to pre, if you don't know what a pre is, cat grab to precision, or cat to cat, or like cat grab to cat grab if that's what you wanna call it by, or uh, arm jump to arm jump if that's what you wanna call it by, it doesn't matter. The point is we are going to be focusing on cat grab today and something to do out of the cat grab. So how, how do we do like the tech for it? And we're gonna be breaking all of that down. So if you haven't yet already, make sure you hit that like, subscribe and comment something down below for me. It really helps us out. If you want to see something in specific or if you want to learn something in specific, I'm happy to help. We can do our best to teach you whatever it is that you are trying to learn. So make sure you comment that down below so we know how to best serve you guys. And with that being said, let's get into the rest of the tutorial. All right, so the one of the most important things about doing your cat to cat or your cat to precision, it's basically your step up, right? So you're in your cat position. And if you saw my cat grab tutorial, first off, if you haven't seen, if you don't know how to cat grab, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. So make sure you go check that out and learn how to cat grab before you try to combo your cat grab, right? It just makes sense. So if you don't know how to cat grab, I'm gonna leave it in the description down in the link below. So make sure you go check that out. But if you do know how to cat grab and you're here wondering how to get a better cat grab, how to make a line with your cat grab, or just how to do anything else other than a cat grab with your cat grab, then you're in the right place. So I'm gonna be going over all of that stuff, how to get a stronger cat, how to get a stronger turn and jump out of your cat grab, how to spot and, and when to spot and basically like when to extend and all of that good stuff. I'm like the small intricacies of doing more than doing something out of your cat grab. First off, your footing. Okay, so this is the most important thing about your cat grab. It's gonna help you get further in your cat grab if you're not already doing this technique, which chances are if you've been doing parkour for any amount of time, longer than two weeks, you've been doing this technique, hopefully. And if you haven't, then welcome to the rest of the game. Okay, so you have three steps or three positions, I should say. So you have three positions for your feet. You have your low, your medium, and your high. Your medium foot does not move. Your low foot turns into a high foot and then you step and go. Does that make sense? If not, here we go. Boom, I'm in my cat grab, okay? So this is my medium foot. Your medium foot is the direction that you are turning. So if I want to turn left, my left foot is my medium foot. If I want to turn to the right, my right foot is my medium foot. And here's why. Your low foot, boom, I'm actually gonna put this on the floor. So this right here, my left foot is still my medium foot. Just follow me here. My left foot is my medium foot still. So my right foot is now my low foot. Okay, so if I was hanging in a cat grab, I'd be like this, right? So boom, I'm in my cat grab. Now, my low foot or my right foot is going to step above my medium foot. Now it becomes my high foot. My high foot, I'm going to push and turn. And as I am pushing and turning, you're already looking. So as you're stepping, you're already trying to look to see where you're going. So low foot becomes your high foot. Step, push, turn, reach. And now at this point, you should be reaching for your other cat grab, your other precision, or whatever else it is that you can do out of your cat grab. You should be reaching with your feet by now. And those two specific instances, right? Your cat grab and your precision, you should already be reaching for your, for your feet. Now, just like in the cat grab tutorial, you do not want to reach with your hands first. Please, please, please reach with your feet first. Your ankles, your knees, and your legs are much more inclined to take the impact than your wrists, hands, and elbows. So for your safety, jump to your feet first. With that being said, that is like 90% of this whole thing. Some of the common mistakes 
people will often jump with both of their feet at mediums and that doesn't work like it just it it just doesn't work you don't get as far you you don't get as much power you can't turn and spot as easily as you could if you did the low medium high feet so here's what the low medium high feet looks like Things to pay attention to on this one are my, my feet, the way I am pulling and driving my knee. It is the same pull and knee drive in your climb up. And if you don't know how to do a climb up, I'm gonna make a tutorial about that soon. Um, so just bear with me here. So there's your cat to cat. I'm pulling it as I step with my foot to be low to high. I'm already looking. Now, the reason that you don't want to go in the direction that your low foot or your high foot is, is because if you're stepping with your right foot and you're trying to turn to the right, your right foot is your low foot and you step high, now you are crossing over your own leg, right? And that makes the turn infinitely harder. I suppose it's possible, but I just wouldn't. If you like really wanted to make it work, you can make it work, but don't don't try to make it work. It's not it's not as easy. It's not you're not gonna get as much power from it. It's just not efficient. So make sure you are stepping with your medium foot. Now, if you aren't sure which way to turn, um, I cartwheel to my left. I jump and I spin to my left. So it only makes sense that when I'm doing my cat to cat, I'm going to turn left. So try not to overcomplicate it. If you still don't know which way you're going to do, just do a cartwheel. Don't think about it like right now, just go boom, cartwheel. And that is the direction that you're going to be putting your medium foot. So if you step and your left hand touches the floor first, your left foot is your medium foot. If you turn and your right hand is touching the floor, then your right foot is the medium foot. And that is the, the direction that you're going to be turning. A couple of other common mistakes here is people reaching with their hands first. So in their cat, in their cat grab, they are here. They turn, they step, but what they do is because they're kind of afraid to leave the wall and like back flop. They just think like, as long as I get my hands there, I'm safe. And that's not entirely true. So step low, high, boom. And don't reach this way. Don't reach with your shoulders first. You need to keep everything in a neutral position and reach with your feet first. One other common mistake. This one's kind of a niche one, but it is huge if you're doing this mistake and it's not driving your knee either A, hard enough or high enough, B, high enough, right? Or the timing of your arm pull and your knee drive are desynced. Here's what I mean, right? So if I'm on the wall here and I decide to do a base, a chin up basically and drive my knee afterwards, it's not gonna be as efficient, right? So here, you see how kind of slow that was, right? Now the exact opposite is true. My knee drive and then my arm pull, not as efficient. So doesn't even worse than the other one, right? So you wanna really make sure that you initiate the pull and the knee drive at the same time to try to get the most optimal efficiency, I guess, power. Now, a good way to drill this is also a drill for your climb up. So if you're struggling with your climb ups, here's a good way to drill this. It's really good for your cat to cats or your cat to prees and your climb ups. So your goal is to try to get your belly button above whatever it is that your hands are holding. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take this off. So you guys can see a little bit easier about where my hips are. I'm gonna take off my jacket real quick. Give me one second. Boom, all right, it's off. So my belly button is right about here. So I'm going to try to get as much of my upper body to my belly button above, above that line. If you can get more, great. Here's the drill. You're just gonna hang in your cat grab and you're just gonna do the knee drive and pull with your arms and try to get your belly button as above this arm as high as possible, right? So here's what it looks like. 
So I'm on a popcorn wall, so my feet are a little slippery, but the goal is to try to not touch the floor after you do your, your knee drive. One more time. So the goal would be to also do it on both legs so you don't just get one really, really strong leg because you may need to turn the other direction. So make sure you're turning both ways on this. So you're gonna notice that my right foot goes from low to high and then my left foot goes from low to high. I'm gonna do that about two or three times. So. There we go. So that's a bit more of what it should look like. Some progressions to this. If you aren't sure about doing a cat to cat right away, you can go cat to pounce, okay? If you don't know what a pounce is, it's basically a failed cat grab. For this, you're going to get both feet, you're gonna hit them on the wall, high tend the wall. You're not actually grabbing the wall for a cat grab, so it's gonna look more like this. And that's it. So you're gonna do that. Cat grab to pounce. This is what it looks like. There you go. So that's what the pounce is. I know I grabbed the top, but that's because this is, is a bit small for me and I'm a bit more advanced and I can do this. Obviously I already demonstrated it. So I still grab the top, but notice I didn't like actually fully grab it in my cat grab. I just kind of hit my feet and pounced off. Now, another progression to this is, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have these lines right here, like these two different color concrete. So what I can do here, let's move you guys over here. Oh, look at that. There's another one right behind me. Look at that color, those two different colors, right? So I'm gonna go for my cat grab from this wall here. And I'm actually not gonna worry about my, my other cat at all. I'm just gonna try to get to the line and I'm gonna do a precision. And I'm gonna try to get to the line and I'm gonna try to stick it. So, there we go, easy enough. So I was turning, I jumped, I turned, I looked, I spotted. I got my feet there and I tried to stick it. Uh, and the next goal for that would be to get it a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can go to the, uh, so we just went to uh, this line here. Let's see if we can go to this line up here. Not quite, but like, I mean, I was like a centimeter off. Uh, let me do a little more, one more. I'll take that one. Wasn't a good stick. It wasn't a stick at all, actually, but I mean, it was controlled. It was, that was fine. I didn't mind that. That would be the next progression. If you aren't ready to do cat to cats, or if you aren't ready to do cat to precision on top of something necessarily just yet, then the floor is always the best place to start. It doesn't even have to be on concrete. If you happen to have this same type of setup where you just need a wall and literally something behind you, something not a drop behind you. So with that being said, those are our, our things. I'm not really gonna go over how to fix the common mistakes because I feel like they're just mechanical issues that you can fix by doing the drill. So I'm not gonna worry about that. But if you've made it to this far in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. But if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button for one, comment something down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification because Last year, we were only doing one video a week. This year, we're going to do our best for two videos a week. Feel free to send us your clips of your cat to cats or your cat to precisions to our Gmail, which one, I'll leave a link in the description down below for that. Or two, maybe Rudy will see it like right here, some, somewhere, which is thecollectivemovements at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line, cat to cat attempts or cat to precision attempts, cat attempts, whatever. Put something like that in the subject line so I know what it is and who it's from. So feel free to send us your clips to that Gmail. You can also send it to our Instagram, which is at The Collective Movement. We're also there. We're also happy to help. If you don't want to be in the video, that's fine, but you still want some help, that's totally fine. Send us your videos anyways, and just put inside the description, inside the box, or inside the subject line, wherever. Just put it in there somewhere so I know not to put it inside next week's video. Because what I would like to do is I would like to start getting clips from these things and start putting them and editing them together. So it kind of feels like we're all training together because last year I didn't get to train with my friends as much as I would like to have. So this is kind of a way to 
all have a goal and keep the community together in like one spot. And I think that's a really cool thing. So if you wanna be a part of that, feel free to send us the email, send us the DM on Instagram and let us know what you would like to do or let us know if you would like some help. And do not forget, comment something down below if you want to learn anything else that you haven't seen on my video channel recently or at all, or if there's something else that you would like a bit more detail on, let us know in the comments down below. With that being said, happy Saturday, train safe, and once again, happy new year.